Hey there, Bixby developers. Today, I'm super excited to show you guys our Bixby Home Studio Quick Start Guide. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can get a quick start on using Bixby Home Studio. Bixby Home Studio is part of the Bixby Home platform, which enables Bixby voice control of your IoT devices using the Samsung SmartThings platform. This is the perfect tool for IoT device manufacturers to easily visualize and create useful voice interactions for your IoT devices. So what do we need to actually use Bixby Home Studio? Well, we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need a Samsung account, a SmartThings account, and finally, we will need a device or simulated device attached to that SmartThings account. Now let's take a look at how we set up all the accounts for Bixby Home Studio. The first thing we need to do is actually create a Samsung account at account.samsung.com. Once you're there, you can just simply click the create account button and then go through the typical stuff that you'll need to do in order to create your Samsung account. After that, you will need the SmartThings app and then you'll want to log into that specific Samsung account that you just created. Here we have this very helpful little a video here that will show you how to actually set up your SmartThings account. Now, of course, you'll need the app which is available on Android and iOS, so this isn't just limited to Samsung devices. So once you've actually logged into your SmartThings, now you will need to add a device. The device that I'll be using is a simple smart plug, and I will have the link to that down below. Now, do keep in mind that there are many devices that actually need a Samsung SmartThings Hub specifically in order for it to be compatible with SmartThings, which is much more expensive, but you know, that's why I'm using this very cheap plug instead. Now, it can be a device or even a simulated device, and this specific video is not going to cover how to create a simulated device. I will create another video in the future that will show you how to create a simulated device for SmartThings. And now let's actually get started with Bixby Home Studio. All we have to do is go to bhs.bixbydevelopers.com and you want to log in with that same Samsung account that you just created as well as use for your SmartThings account with the device attached to it. So you'll be prompted to log into that Samsung account, just log in like I mentioned. Once you're logged in, you'll be greeted by a screen similar to this one. Now, if it's the first time you've logged in, you'll be greeted by this panel here on the left, which will be right here instead of you know what you're seeing. And you'll want to click on new project. Now, of course, um, for me, I can just click the little plus icon and we will end up in the same spot. So for this first example, using a simple smart plug, here I have a smartish plug, which is the smart plug that we'll be using today. And you wanna click on this first card here, which creates metadata using smart things capabilities of the device. And this will automatically create some very useful graphs for you. And in this example, we're gonna be using all three of these, get status, turn on and turn off, and then click next. Now you can name this project. I'm gonna name this one a jar of cookies and done. So now we've created a new project and we have some stuff here. We have some metadata, we have the voice intents, the three ones that we imported. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at what these do. And we can click on one of these graphs and now we're actually able to see what the flow is for that specific smart device and this specific action on the smart device. And in this case, it's the smart plug. Now what's really cool about this is that you can actually run this here. So I'm gonna click try it and voila, it actually turned on the little night light and the smart plug that I have um, you know, right next to me, attached to this, attached to that SmartThings and Samsung account. So this is actually a really cool and fun way to kind of mess around with this. Now here, I use the turn off command. We can see that it all turned off the switch. Let's just fun turn it back on. And now that it's on, let's see if it can get the status of the device. We can see that it followed this flow, start, and it checked the attribute of the switch here grabbing its value, and we can see that it is equal to on. So since this device is equal to on, it will, Bixby will provide this update where it says, you know, the keyword is on, and I believe in this case it says device. 
device is on. So yes, this is the response that Bixby would give in this case. Let's quickly turn this off and, you know, try it again. We've turned off the device by simply using the graph in the power switch turn off area. And if we get the status of it, it does indeed change the flow to the device is off. And we can see here that there are, you know, a, a lot of different types of nodes that you can add, attributes, command, device information. We have the start, you know, we have the responses. So yeah, there is quite a bit of, uh, you know, neat things you can do in Bixby Home Studio. Now this video as the quick start guide isn't really going to uh, go through all that. But uh, I will show you one more cool thing about this and it actually has the JSON for this as well. You can just take a look at it, you can copy it and you can edit it and you can even add it if you, you know, put in something here that makes sense. So yeah, just a really quick introduction to getting started with Bixby Home Studio in order to start messing around with it and to start using it, you will need to go through those steps of account creation for your Samsung account, then for your SmartThings account, and finally you want to log into that SmartThings account after you've added a device to that SmartThings account. You want to log into that Samsung account over at bhs.bixbydevelopers.com and you should be able to start developing for it. And again, in the next video or in a soon to come video, I will be talking about how to create a simulated device if you do not have a device that you can, you know, immediately start using Bixby Home Studio with. And yeah, that's it.